What's up, man? We're here to play Doki Doki Literature Club. I was told to play it a couple of months ago. I'm gonna say a couple in the official uh, the official statement. A couple of months ago by LaVorg. He be dropping the ball. He don't let me know when near, near this popular shit come out. And, uh, you know, he said play it. It's free. And I was like, I'm in it then. By playing Doki Doki Literature Club. It's literature. Not literature. It's literature. Literature Club, you agree that you are at least 13 years of age. That's awkward. And you consent to your exposure of highly disturbing content. What the fuck? Full of energy swings open the classroom door. Why is it oh, so quiet suddenly? Oh, there it goes. Everyone, the new member is here. It is I, Chavez. I mean, please don't kill me. I told you not to call me new member. I glance around the room. Nigga, is there only one other person here? Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Alright. Alright. This ain't so bad, girl number one. She says nice things about you. Good. I already got a way in, bro. I'm with it. Seriously, you brought a boy? Swag out. Am I the only one? Way to kill the atmosphere. But my name is Please Don't Kill Me. So please don't. Oh, please don't kill me. What a nice surprise. Hello, girl number three. There's a lot of women here. This is getting nice. Welcome to the club. Yes. Say some shit, nigga. All the words escape me in this situation. Don't be a bitch about it. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. <laughs> Say something. Why are you, what are you looking at? Your face. If you want to, if you want to say something, say it. I like your, your hair. Let's go to my house and play video games and read anime. Okay, I can't pronounce any of these names. Maybe. She's also the one who made cupcakes, which means she's also the one you need to talk to because she cooks. This is it, bro. You can just ignore her when she gets moody, bro. What the fuck? He shuts quietly into my ear, okay? It turns out like you can just ignore her. <laughs> That's fucking savage. Don't say things like that. Okay, so she's kind of shy. This is good. She appears to be more mature and timid. She seems to have a hard time keeping up with people. Okay, all right. There's, not, there's nothing wrong with that. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. Don't lie, bro. You gotta choose one. It's nice to see you too. I would also like to not die. And then she smiles sweetly and does anime shit. That's what's up. We need to know each other well. We rarely talk, but we're in the same class last year. That's good enough, bro. Acquaintances, now you have an interest. You know her now. She's probably the most popular girl in class, smart, beautiful, and athletic with green eyes, which is random as fuck. Take it. Basically, completely out of my league. Don't get some goddamn confidence. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You too. It feels a little what? Come sit down, please don't kill me. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me. Oh, do I get to choose? Can I choose? I'll get the cupcakes. Hell yeah, get the cupcakes. Can I choose what's next to you? I'll made them. I'll get them. Yeah, let her get them. I get a little too excited. Ha! Then how about I make some tea as well? This is fantastic service, my nigga. They have a few desks arranged to form a table. And she mentioned it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica or one space next to Siori. So I get to choose, right? Because we definitely going for the bitch that I kind of know. She grabs a rat tray and she opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. God damn it! Why? She probably marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready, bitch. Ta-da! She lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. <laughs> so we eat pussy on the first date. Nice. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute. Damn, she does work. I had no idea you were so good at baking. God, I have a weakness for food. Well, you know, just hurry and take one. I'm with it. She grabs the first one, then I follow. And they're good. See, usually the joke is that they can cook cute shit, but it tastes fucking awful. I turn the cupcake around on my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. And she's quiet, okay, she's waiting for you to take a bite. 
to see if you like it. You can't help to notice her sneaking glances in my direction. She's looking for you to take a bite. She waiting. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Yes, she's waiting for you to take a bite. And you take a bite. Isaac is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. That would be weird to bring cupcakes you did not make yourself. Why are you thinking that? This is really good. Thank you. Why are you thinking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything. Hey, Huh? Uh, I thought you technically did. Don't, don't say that out loud, dummy. Well, maybe, huh? She definitely did, but not for you, dummy. Dude, this is it. She cooks and she cooks for you before she even knows. This is what's up. You gave up on the weird logic. This guy is dull, I don't like it. She returns to the table carrying a tea set. Kevin places a teacup in front of each of us before sitting down, the teapot next to the cupcake tray. Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot tub of key help you enjoy a good book? Oh yeah, I forgot I gotta be here to read books and shit. That's unfortunate. Don't let yourself get intimidated. She's just trying to impress you. Swag, good way to call her out. I like that shit. <laughs> Insulted, she looks away. I believe you, hell yeah. Well, tea and reading may not be a pastime for me, but at least, I enjoy tea. See, there you go. She might smile at herself in relief. Wait, save this shit. Okay, my camera shit's back on. These fucking names suck. Yuri? These names suck. It's like they're not in English, bro. Can't fucking read this shit. <laughs> All right, so she smiles to herself in relief. Okay, so uh, what is her name, Monica? She raises an eyebrow and then smiles at me. Swag, I like this chick. So what made you consider the literature club? Girls, food, tea, this is about it. And I was afraid of this question. Why? This is it. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Siori. Why not? This works, bro. This is a great situation. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, so Siori seemed really happy here, so I wandered in. Dick out. That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. Women are not this pleasant in real life, let me tell you. We'll make sure you feel at home, okay? They're not. No, they would. No. This is not real. As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Cool. You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. I don't know. Is that a big deal? Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Yo, debate club was lit. Actually, if she had a choice to do that or this, why is she doing this? Well, you know. What do you mean, well, you know? Debate is way, way honest. I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. Oh, that, that does suck, Connor. You're right. I just ignore it. It feels like nothing, but arguing about the budget and publicity and how you prepare for events, that eh, does kind of suck. I kind of just made decisions. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. I can agree with that. She's, she makes sense. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. She's a really great leader. Yeah, I'll give you that. And then she nods in agreement. This is getting weird. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in this club yet. Must be hard to start a new club. I'm really interested in putting all the effort to start something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature or as long as it's taking to get through this scene. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile, which this game is not doing. But it makes cool events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can really grow. Right, everybody? And everybody goes right in unison. We'll do our best and you know it. So this is the fucking set of women we, we have here at this club. And this is this is good. This is a good set. Such different girls are interested in the same goal. So, please don't kill me. What kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, Considering how little I've read the past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. You should have just said that. The anime, my nigga. That's what... Oh, wait. She she likes... She likes that shit, too? Not much of a reader, I guess. Oh, she's disappointed. Well, that can change. Don't you change for them. Just be yourself. Folk without thinking after seeing your sad smile. Anyway, what about you? 
It's usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Actually, I can agree with that. That's actually really fun to read. Yeah, that's so true. That's actually, if I'm going to read some shit, it's going to be some fantasy shit that does not exist in the real world. That way, I don't have to be disappointed about unrealistic expectations for the real world. So that's, that works for me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yep. She goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. That's kind of an odd thing. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Oh, just through that. Isn't it amazing how a writer can deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? I feel like that's like, I feel like that's foreshadowing the rest of this game. Like, I feel like that's what they're trying to do. Anyways, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Yeah, I feel like this conversation is actually just foreshadowing the, this game itself. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimum level. Okay, cool. At this rate, she might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> really, I wouldn't expect that. That's really the only person I want to be involved with here. So let's just talk to her. Can we just leave this conversation? For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or it takes me to another world, then I can't really put it down. I don't, I can't relate to horror at all. I hate that shit. So real horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. I feel that. Why is that? Because it's terrifying? Well, I just, I'm bitch made. She darts to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you? What? <laughs> what gives you that idea? Because you're small. You have to scrap a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. <laughs> it looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud, Please Say It. And give it back. No, tell me, what is it? Your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. She slides up behind her and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute. <laughs> You write your own poems? Well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Good, yeah, that's some brownie points. Why don't you share them sometime? Nah, she's not gonna do that. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Dang, she putting her on the spot. Maybe you share your shit, she'll share her shit, and everybody's had their shit shared, huh? Yep, and then Silence of the Lambs, exactly. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea. What's the idea? Let's all go home and write poems of our own. The next time we meet, We'll share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. That sounds good. Oh, damn, that means I have to write one too. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right? Please don't kill me. That's me, I'm please don't kill me. Smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. What's that? Now that we're back, to the original topic of me joining the club. I bluntly come forth what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. She may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I'll still have other clubs to look at and I lose my train of thought because now they're fucking glaring at me. Yeah, exactly. Stare at me with dejected eyes. <laughs> but, <laughs> I'm sorry that I, I thought, hmm. Please don't kill me. Y you all are defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That's if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. <laughs> that was such a pointless setup. 
<laughs> if you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. <laughs> All right, then that makes it official. Cool. Can I really impress the class star with my mediocre writing skills? You better fucking try, you little bitch. I already feel a little anxiety welling up inside me. Fuck the anxiety. Get to writing, you little hoe. Meanwhile, let's girls continue to chit chat. Please don't kill me since we're already here. Do you want to walk home together? That's right. You guys never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Alright, so we do that shit. With that, the two of us depart the literature club and make our way home. The whole way mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. These girls, got it. We know them. I would really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club. Will I? Oh, it's a question. Will I really be happy? Perhaps I'll have to chance a chance to grow even closer to one of these girls. All right. I just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. Oh, my God. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Oh, that is fucking awful. Okay, well, I know I'm not doing frightening tears cry. No, wait! Wait! Okay, guess I am doing that. Okay, let's just go... Fuck! Wait, I can't choose the other chick right now. My nigga. Alright, let's go for adventure. We're gonna go for the dark-haired chick then at the start. Because... Even though I don't really like sadness, but writing about sadness is cool. Misfortune! Oh, this is beautiful. Skirt. Lollipop. Socks. Lipstick. Uh, after image. Ooh, that's good. After image. Existence. Oh, this is super deep and like emo. Uncontrollable. Yeah, uncontrollable. Doki Doki! Cause of literature club. I don't even know what that means. Uh, let's go with suicide. Graveyard, anxiety, horror, grief, condemnation, empty, melancholy, blankets, right? Gotta switch it up a little bit because it's a poem. And then uncanny, and then massacre at the end. Switch it up. Ah! All right, let's see what we got. Hi again, please don't kill me. Welcome back. I accidentally clicked the wrong button. You weren't a choice, little bitch so i chose the the depressed chick the quiet one with the tea should have chose the cupcake one but i don't know she's short so fuck that glad to see you didn't run away on us haha -ha. no i don't worry she brew hot me just then might as well be a little strange for me but at least i keep my word you goddamn right well i'm back at the literature i was the last to come in so everyone else is already hanging out thanks for keeping your promise please don't kill me i hope this isn't too overwhelming of uh, commitment for you. It's a little overwhelming. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. <laughs> Sorry you told me you don't even want to join any clubs this year. I didn't want to join any clubs. And last year too, I didn't want to join last year. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take it seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Oh shit. You certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club in the club room. <laughs> what is wrong with that? She finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Oh, manga is literature, is it? She's swift, swiftly defeated. She plops back in her seat. Don't worry, guys. Please don't kill me. Always gives his best as long as he's having fun. Okay, how dependable? Oh, I'd be in her house and shit. Maybe I should have chose her. Sorry believes that your room is messy. It's distracting. Ha. And you almost set your house on fire once. What the fuck? Hell no, dude. You guys are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Please Don't Kill Me can become good friends too. Hey, thank you, lady. Hey, <laughs> hooking it up. Yeah. As usual, she seems to be oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Now this is good. Experience it. You even brought you something today, you know? Oh wait, she really did? She brought me some shit? Yeah! What did you get? Not really. What is it? Don't be shy. Yeah, what is it? Fess up. What do you mean, never mind? Bitch, give me my shit. She made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. What 
do I do? Oh, you wasn't thinking? No, it's cool. Keep it up. I guess that means keep up a good job. Don't worry about it. It's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. She reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book and that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so to keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is, yeah, hell yeah. How's this girl accidentally being so cute? That's funny. She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. You better read it. I enthusiastically take the book. Alright, I can read it at my own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. This was good. That was actually a good choice. This girl is cool as fuck. And she's not cringy. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect that she'll kick off to some schedule activities for the club. We're gonna find out how to say these girls' names eventually, but that's not gonna be today. I wanna get to the part where we read the fucking poems, dude. Okay, so I guess that was the whole meeting. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. Let's talk. But at the same time, I'd feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like it's the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Crap. <laughs> I think she knows me looking at her. She sneaks up the glance at me, our eyes meet for a split second. Dope. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in the book. Sorry, I was just spacing out. I muttered this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. She says, oh, it's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book you gave me, right? She says, mm-hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious about how come you have two copies of the same book? Well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them, just on accident. <laughs> Wait, he couldn't figure out what she bought two versions for? Damn, this guy's a dumbass. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. All right, cool. It's very engaging and relatable story. The Portrait of Markov. That sounds actually super dope. Ominous looking eye symbol in the front cover, what the fuck? Basically it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long lost younger sister, but as soon as she does her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escaped from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger she needs to desperately choose who to trust, what the fuck? No matter what she does she ends up destroying most of her relationships. And her life starts to fall apart. All of that shit? Yeah, what the fuck? That's kind of dark. Yeah, it's a, that's really fucking dark. She made it sound like it was going to be a nice story. So that dark turn came from nowhere. She laughed. She brew hot me. What the fuck? Are you not a fan of that sort of thing? Please don't kill me. No, it's not that. I mean, I could definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so, too. Yeah, I totally forgot that she's into those things. Well, you mean you wrote that fucking dark, cringy story about, you know, emptiness and death. So we, we wanted this. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that those kind of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. That's true. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals, their own philosophy that they believe in. Then suddenly, when you thought you related to that protagonist, they made out to be naive for one letting their... They're made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. No, no, that's pretty good. Not rambling. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Okay, she's got this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. <laughs> My girlfriend literally told me the same thing. Like, she if she starts talking, just don't let her talk too much. I'm like, fuck that shit. Go for it, bro. There's nothing more dull being with a girl who's like not saying anything or communicating with you at all. So, talk too much if you're gonna talk. I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. 
The least I can do is listen. It's literature club after all. Yeah, make her blush. <laughs> let me, let me just get the book. Yeah, read, dude. It's about if I sit here, right? Yeah, sitting to her. Sit next to her and read. Yeah. How's she not used to reading in the company with other people when she's in the literature club? Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. She says, all right, I'll open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a bad thing. It's comforting. She's not looking at her own book. She's reading from my book. Oh, she was literally over your shoulder. What the fuck? Yuri, you like apologizing a lot, don't you? That's funny. <laughs> I do? Question mark? I don't really mean to. Say sorry again. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> nice. There's the red face. Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against hers. Then I hold my book more between the two of them. I suppose so. Nice. See, there we go. Hey, this dude's doing work. Our shoulders are almost touching. Ooh, the shoulders are almost touching. I feel like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. But that makes it difficult to turn the page, and she turns the pages for you. Yeah! They're even close together than they were before. Ooh! <laughs> It's actually kind of distracting me, having a woman's shoulder on me. This is hilarious. It's as if I can feel the warmth of her face. And she's in the corner of my vision. I can see and touch a woman. <laughs> Are you ready? I turn the page. I think I got a bit, a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at her face again and our eyes meet. Oh, now you're looking at a woman. I don't know. I won't be able to keep up with her. Oh my goodness, that's okay, you're not used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do, since you've been so patient with me. Yeah, thanks. This fucking conversation, to get to them reading the book, is taking an extremely long time. You know, the fucking club would be over by now. It'd be dark outside already. We continue reading. She no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page, and says I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. That's literally how it's like when I read with my girlfriend. I just, she reads so much faster than me, it doesn't even matter. You finish the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting, uh, letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her as she catches it under her own thumb. Bibliophiles are having a fucking orgasm right now. Hey, Yuri, this might be silly, a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but she's also afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything, but they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. She remains silent for a moment, but that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. <laughs> oh, that's so embarrassing that you think that. No, wait, I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything, sorry. I really don't know you. You were self-conscious about that sort of thing. Why the fuck would anybody not be self-conscious about that thing? You just had book sex with this woman. How you gonna fuck while you read and then talk shit to her afterwards? You're so stupid. I just guess I meant that it's kind of cute. Oh, there we go. Yeah, compliment her. That's good. What are you saying all of a sudden? I said that you're cute, bitch. Okay, everyone. They just had, like, book sex in front of all these people, bruh. I think it's about time we share today's poem. Oh, we haven't even shared the fucking poems yet. Good. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. She exhales, spared from finishing her thought. Is that all right? You look kind of down. I'm sorry you've ever been looking forward to this. It's not that. It's just that I disrespected her and then tried to compliment her after. She's confused. She releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. All right. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? Huh? You want me to only read with you now? It's like an exclusive thing. Are we like polyamorous or we like you know just me you or like is your friend joining how do we do this i guess i don't have too much of a preference either way bitch in that case we're a little more tonight 
it'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. All right, cool. I'll make the mental note of where I left off the book, and then I'll slip it back into my bag. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't resist. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I'd never really done this before. Are people, yeah, I forget that people are really scared of reading in public though, so never mind. Let me not say it like that, because people are really terrified of that shit. I've read poems I've written in front of assemblies before, like in school, when you guys have like assemblies put up, and I've done uh, Q and A's on papers I've written in college. So I've been on stage in front of, you know, professors and peers and shit like that. Um, and I've done emceeing events, I've hosted many events, so, yeah, I don't know, that's that's just not that. It's exciting for me, it's not really too scary. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sorry, and Monica and through that, pull out their poems. Uh, she, hers is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers on a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's uh, pristine handwriting for where I sit. I want to talk to that bitch, but whatever. Who should I show my poem first? Oh, well, I guess we should just like commit to that one chick, right? We should just commit to Yuri, right? Because like we already started. We could like smash quick. You know what I mean? She seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. Hell yeah. I can trust her opinion, to be fair. We'll commit to this bitch. She reads the poem. I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. <laughs> she covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. What kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imaginary metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Nah, I just like to embrace my inner sadness and then I put that sadness on the page. It speaks to people's souls because life fucking sucks. It's that simple. Nothing more into it than that, man. That's all it is. That's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. We had book sex for the first time this afternoon and my first time, you know, being graded a poem. It's like oral, you know, I'm doing great. I'm stacking it up. She stares at me blankly, looks at the poem again. Shock, Ah. Oh. <laughs> I just mean, uh, she trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her fingers along the words of the poem as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah, okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and they form and they form fit the two together, like what? And then results is that both the style and expressiveness are weakened. Yeah, yeah. She's fucking ripping you apart now. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing, even a simple poem. It's not Finding them and building them, but getting them to work. Yeah, that's just true about poetry in general, though. I don't really write poetry like that, though. That shit's fucking difficult. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning learning by example and trying new things. My girlfriend is an English major, so, like, I've heard this shit IRL about, like, my English papers and shit, but I write, like, fact journal articles. I don't write papers about you know, literature. I write shit about, you know, studies and stuff like that. Like, fuck that. I like nonfiction, bro. When I do academics, I like nonfiction. And if I'm doing fictional shit, I'm doing like fantasy stuff that has nothing to do with the real world. So it keeps me happy. Also, hope that everyone else in the club gives you that. Okay, feedback. Okay, cool. She can be a little bit biased though. How? Cause she's mean? Never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, I'm not sure who she's about to One of the three of us. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. She smiles. Dream leave. The rare opportunity for her, which ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. 
I can't fucking read this. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time, the last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue green hue of the future, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. I don't know what the fuck this poem's about. Okay. It's a ghost underneath a light. That's, I mean, that's fucking out there. <laughs> that is fucking out there, Yuri. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. I wasn't thinking that at all. It's just thin and I'm blind. But it took you a long time to read. Yeah, because I'm fucking blind, bitch. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. It's not that, ho. I'm fucking... Little bitch, I just can't read thin handwriting because I'm I haven't gotten my new glasses yet. Oh, I think it's pretty. That's a relief. Also like the poem, even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I think it was way too short. I used to write longer poems. I would have liked that poem to be longer because I don't know what the fuck you're writing about. Bitch, something easy to digest. Bitch, are you into ghosts? Are you into ghosts? Hugh Hugh. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all. Please don't kill me. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember, the poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, experiences in their work. Yep, they usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolic compared to a ghost. Lingering in the last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. But that's what ghosts do. Yeah, so that's good. And soon, to be left with nothing. Yep, that's a lot more solid than putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. Oh, here we go. More compliments. Uh, I'm gonna keep doing your best for me. Hell yeah, dude, bitch, do it. Do it. God, okay, yeah, we're going to my girl now. What's good? Like my shit, bitch. Hi, please don't kill me. What's good, ho? Having a good time so far? Having a great time. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or anything, we, or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Let's have bikini day. Let's show up all in our bikinis and like just read poetry about sun and shit, but in our bikinis. Yeah, let's, that'd be a great, I'm not, I'm not, let's just change the flow. The motion of the ocean, baby. Bruja, don't worry, please don't kill me. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of berry that we all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. All right, so I hand the poem. Great job, please don't kill me. I was going, oh. That's the easiest way for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That's actually what I do too. That way I'm always count, yeah, yeah, yeah. It always counts that I put in some effort. That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyways. That's interesting. That's always fun though. Two years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I never really asked though. See, it's nice though when you find your own writing style. Like if you really enjoy writing, it's actually nice when you find your own writing style and you know how you like to tell stories. And then you just do, like honestly, just do that over and over and over and over again. Don't, don't change anything up. People get bored and they wanna change it up and try new things like all the time. And I, I don't believe in that. I think that you should just write the way you write and then just do that shit forever. Because if that's what you become great at, then you just become even better at it. Like, and you figure out how to really master it. We just brouhaha at each other. Okay, now we read each other's poems. Don't worry. I'm not very good. I, I also know brouhaha means witch in Spanish. It's a joke. So get over it. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's cause I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See, the direction, the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know, I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. Already scorched permanent copy of meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything, a hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. That's pretty good, actually. So what do you think? It's very free form. 
Yeah, it's a lot, of, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, somebody getting the ass beat? Um, I'm not sure if I know how to put, I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany, yeah, something like that. Somebody just beat the shit out of you and then like, <laughs> you decided to write poems about it. I'm kind of nervous about talking about these stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. So don't talk to me, it's my fucking writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you are writing a poem or story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Yeah. Okay, just force yourself to write and then tidy up later. Another way to think about this is if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you just get a big d dark puddle of ink. Why has it got to be dark? So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. It's pretty good advice. Thanks for listening. That's pretty good advice. I don't even really give a fuck about these other girls, but we're going to go with the girl that I'm not friends with. Please don't kill me if you're not gonna like take this club seriously and go home, bitch. <laughs> what do you expect me to believe that you actually put effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? Get ready to be amazed, bitch. If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Ooh, painful to think about. Ooh, fine. Well, sorry, you gotta go to war with this hoe. You'll get better anyways. I'll tell you what to improve. But you're better off just trying again. Fair enough. Well, to each their own, I guess. Anyway, I guess I gotta share mine now. Knowing you, you'll probably think it's stupid. All right, let's see. Eggs can fly. What the fuck? Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. Wow. Damn. Damn. <laughs> that fell flat. It's one of those uh, Roblox death scene moments. Oof. <laughs> People can try, but that's about it. That's pretty good. Yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, low self-esteem. I mean, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff, so people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yeah, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, that's pretty good. But the other nice things about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. It does indeed. It also helps when you just talk about human sadness because everyone can relate. I'm telling you. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then I made it fall flat on purpose. Yep. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. Sure does. I guess you were more into it than I realized. I like how this is way more like intellectual than the music makes it seem too. This is good. You can tell that the writers in this really wanted to do something with the storytelling. It's just not my type of game, so this is hard for me to get into for like more than 10 minute spurts. I don't really care what everyone is, but if she is feeling proud, then I won't take it away from her. Hell yeah, dude. Alright, we only have one person left in the, in the video here, dude. This is a good poem, please don't kill me. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. Back on. It's like I said before, please don't kill me. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people, that's something that only really good people do. I don't think she sees the full picture of my motives here yet, bitches. I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. But it's really funny because when people join clubs, like literally just to talk to women, it's extremely transparent and they don't last. And I always laugh at dumb people who join smart clubs for the women because everybody there is smart. So you just expose yourself as being a dumbass and then nobody's interested in you. <laughs> so like, don't do that. Just join dumb clubs and then you can fit in just fine. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That'll be my way of thanking you. Hell yeah, all right. I'm gonna hold you to that then. All right. Now you read my two poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. All right, let's do this. Don't brew on me. Tear sunshine. The way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you miss me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed. 
making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish the rain? Wish a rainy day. Why wow, is this so hard to read? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I couldn't sleep forever. I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> I want breakfast. <laughs> Did you? That's what I was saying. Did you wait till this morning to write this? Like she started writing her mental notes on the fucking paper. No, I didn't wait till this morning to write this. Just a little bit. <laughs> you can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least it makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Yeah, I didn't mean to say that. It was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. That's fucking funny. I made eggs and toast for breakfast, bitch. Even though you were late to school. If she made eggs and toast and was late to school, hell yeah. That's how you do it, dude. Be late and then eat whatever you want to eat. Yeah, she's already late. It's at the end of the day. That's fucking good, dude. That's definitely where I'm gonna end this shit after we're done. Phew, I guess that's everyone. Glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. <laughs> that would be fucking funny in this literature club after all. Dude, most people, like, the, the quality of writing in this is, I wouldn't say better than most, but it's definitely better than like 30% of people who actually write poems for clubs like this in like high school and even some cases college. Because a lot of people don't get good feedback, so like they just keep writing bullshit and people just keep having to go to be nice and be like, eh, it's pretty good, you know? When they're writing really, it's just like trash, like nonsensical trash for own frustration while you smile sadly. What's with this language? <laughs> Did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. She's talking shit. I guess I could say it's fancy. <laughs> Yours is cute. Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about feel it, uh, the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. It, I just meant the language, I guess, is cute. <laughs> I was trying to say something nice. <laughs> <laughs> These two do not get along at all. This is great. Thanks, but I really didn't come out nice at all. Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Yeah, I'm sure. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Damn. Which people did, by the way. Damn. Sorry I liked it, and please don't kill me did too. So based on that, I'd gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, bitch, she was talking. Ooh, I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change it time soon unless, of course, I come across something inspiring, which I haven't yet. Bitch, neither one. And please don't kill me like my poem too, you know. He even told me if he was impressed by it. She stands up. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member. Oh, exposed. That's not what I, you're just, she stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Please Don't Kill Me appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Turn them on each other. How, how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? Oh, <laughs> if I was full of myself, I would have deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. <laughs> <laughs> the milk's gone bad. Well, you know what? I wasn't the only one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Please Don't Kill Me started showing up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Expose her. That doesn't involve you. Leave, bitch. I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, one of the girls turned towards me. As if they just noticed I was standing there, please don't kill me. She, she's trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it as if I could get over herself and learn to appreciate the simple writing is more effective. 
then this would have happened. This wouldn't have happened in the first place. Damn, they're fucking at each other's necks, bro. Whoever murders the other girl gets my affection. <laughs> What's the point of making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The beating should jump out to the reader, not force them to figure it out. Help me explain that to her. Wait, there's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our in our language. That's the only way to convey complex feelings and a meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only an unnecessary limiting yourself, but it's also a waste. You understand that, right? Please don't kill me. Well, me, silence. How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. And of course, that's gonna be the girl we chose. So, fuck that shit. You know, you gotta make up your mind, my nigga, even though you don't give a fuck. Also, when I actually think simpler writing can do more, because I don't really like overly flowery, flowery language, but I like women who know overly flowery words. So, that's who you choose. That's how you gotta do it. That's not what happened at all. She wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Wait, did I choose the wrong person? God damn it, I have to run the fucking clip back. I thought that they were asking me to choose the person I agreed with, right? Or no? Damn, she clenches her fist at the end. Nobody has taken her side. In the end, nobody has taken her side. She's trapped at this point, being def defiant. Defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. Okay, cool, I did choose the right person. I end up even feeling bad for her. This is not this serious, dude. Y'all niggas are tripping. This shit is not this serious. It's okay. Sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. Sorry, she doesn't need to. You know what? I'm going to do that. It'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. Bruja. She snatches her own poem up from the desk and storms out. Well, I guess we're never talking to her again. She crumbles up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. Oh, now my girl is depressed. Let's go comfort her with my man parts. Sigh. Everything's everything, all right? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. How could anyone have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You didn't handle it very well, Mitch. He's lying to you. I think a little bit less of you. Also, you stuff your bra. That's disappointing! I'm thankful to have you a part of this club now. One more, one more thing! That one thing that she said about, you know, I would never do anything so shameful. Okay, so you didn't stuff your bra, so... What thing did she say? Ask her straight up about the boobs! Well, never mind that. She knows what I'm thinking. All right, she's not talking to him. She's talking to me there. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm gonna go make some tea. You make enough for more than one person, okay? Yeah. Swag. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How do y'all feel about sharing poems? It was cool. That was alright. I'd say it was worth it. It was mostly worth it. How about you? Yeah, it was good. Wait, we gotta write another poem? Did I learn a little more about the kinds of poem everyone likes? With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. Yeah, you can't make this any more transparent. Please don't kill me. Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. All right. She beams at me. It truly has been a while since her and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Cool. What happened earlier? What do you mean? You know, between those two girls. Yeah, I know, right? I wonder why this guy is so dull, dude. Like, how do you not know that they're that that's what this is? It's nice to get to spend time with you in the club. Yeah, the club was cool, but I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too, which is cool. Every day is going to be so much fun. Sigh. It looks like she still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. <laughs> sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but... Does it really need to stop there? Does it? Does it? We'll just have to see what the future holds. You pat her on the shoulder. I said more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Suri as an uh, internal monologue sometimes. Nice, but we'll quit there. I'll see y'all in the next one. This was fucking long as hell. I'm probably only gonna cut this down to like highlights. If anybody wants to read the entire story, I don't know how I'm gonna do that shit. Cause this shit's long as fuck. 
but I want to keep these vids under an hour when I upload them and I definitely shot for longer than an hour so uh, I gotta I'm definitely gonna be cutting some stuff down just to like the highlights of whatever's going on so uh, yeah I'll see y'all around though man peace